All right, we are trying to graph these equations and then decide if they have infinitely many solutions, no solution, or they intersect at one solution. So over here, I'm going to uh, work them out because I need to solve for y in order to graph them. So the first one is 2x minus 6y equals negative 6. I want to subtract this 2y or 2x on both sides, so I get uh, negative 2x minus 6 is equal to negative 6y. Then if we divide everything by negative 6, I get y equals positive 1 third x plus 1. All right, and now let's look at our next line. We have 3x minus 9y equals negative 9. Again, I want to put the x over on the other side, so I'm going to subtract it on both sides. I get negative 9y equals negative 3x minus 9. Divide both sides by negative 9, and y is equal to, again, positive 1 third. Once you reduce that fraction, x uh, plus 1. So they are the same line. So with my line tool here, I want to start at uh, 0, 1, the y-intercept, go up 1 and over 3. And then uh, to draw the second line, I'm going to do the same thing. Start on that y-intercept and make sure that my lines are the same as we can get them. Um, so you got to graph both the lines and they should be the same. And when this happens, we have infinitely many solutions. All right, for the second one, I'm going to go back to the drawing board here and clear this out. I have 3x, no, sorry, we have negative 6x plus 8y equals negative 24. I'm going to add 6x to both sides, so 8y equals 6x minus 24, and then divide by 8 and simplify. So 6 eighths is the same as 3 fourths. So 3 fourths x minus 3. All right, and the second one, I have negative 3x plus 4y equals negative 8. I'm going to add 3x to both sides, so 4y equals 3x minus 8. Divide both sides by 4, and I get 3 fourths x uh, minus 2. So these are similar but not the same. So the first one, I'm going to start at negative 3, then go up 3 over 4 from my 3 4 slope. On the second one, I'm going to start at negative 2, go up 3. Oh, I think that negative 2 um, is a little bit off, so I'm going to clear everything out and start over. Start at negative 3, up 3 over 4, and negative 2, Let's see if I can do better this time. Up one, two, three, and then over four. We can see that they're parallel lines, which we would expect because they do have the same slope. And parallel lines are going to have no solution.